This is a lesson on using arrays to divide. So, um, this has kind of concluded part of our multiplication of the unit, and we'll be going to dividing. Uh, but remember that dividing is just the opposite process of multiplication. So we haven't actually switched gears that much. It's like switching gears from subtracting to adding, or vice versa. Okay, so first of all, um, remember how you used arrays to show multiplication facts? Well, you can also use arrays to show division facts. So here's an example. Um, this array shows 3 times 4 equals 12 because we've got one, actually it shows, yeah, we'll go 3, three times 4. We've got 1, 2, 3 um, down and 1, 2, 3, 4 across. So the first number shows how many down, the second number shows how many across. Okay, and then the total number shows our uh, product. Okay, so that's our uh, array for multiplication. We can use this same array to show division. So down here, we got that it shows um, 12 divided by 3. So the total is 12, and we divided by 3 rows, and that equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or uh, similarly, we could go the total number again which the first number always will be the total number when you're dividing. Um, dividing by the total number of columns of four, and that equals the total number of rows of three. So that's, that's how that would work. Now we've got an example here, and it says there are 24 children in the parade. They have to line up in equal rows. How many children could be in each row? How many different ways can you find record each model? So down here, we've got, or I've, I've written four of the answers that you should have. Um, I didn't have room on this Word document to write the other four, but I did write what would happen. So you would actually write the other four, but for the purposes of this, we'll just imagine. So the first array is just one row of 24. Okay, so each time we're going to have 24 factor or 24 counters. So here's 24 all in one row. We could also have them up and down uh, one column of 24, and that'd be 24 rows. In this, this is 24 columns, one in each column. Okay, remember columns go up and down, rows go across. Then the next one would be moving half of these counters underneath to make two rows of 12. So we have 12 columns and two rows to equal 24. Or we could have two col columns with 12 rows. So if we flip this on its side, that would be another one. Or we could have three rows and eight columns to show three times eight. Uh, we could also draw over here we could draw uh, eight rows and three columns. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, da eight down, and then three across instead. And that would be a different way. Um, and then at the bottom here, we've got four rows of six. We could also have six rows of four. So we could turn that one on its side. So technically, I should have drawn eight. So if if that bothers you that they're not all written there because that's what you're supposed to do, then draw them in this big space here. Okay, um, but our answer would be I found eight different ways that the children could be lined up. Okay, so that's what that is. Um, now you try this one. It's very similar with a different number. So there are 12 drum dancers. They will dance. They will dance onto stage in equal rows. How many dancers could be in each row? Use arrays to show possible ways. So don't do what I did up there and do the cheating way because you have a paper and pencil, so it's easier for you to uh, make room for these things. But see how many you can get. So pause the video and then we'll do it together after. Okay. So now that you've solved yours. Um, We'll do it together. So there are 12 drum dancers. So I'm going to start out with 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 across. So that means that there would be um, 12 dancers in each row. Okay, I could also go two dancers in each row. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that would be uh, six dancers in each row. I could also go um, four dancers in each row, going one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, because I did this one because I know three times four equals 12. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Notice you always have to have the same number of uh, counters in each of the rows and each of the columns. I couldn't have uh, three in this one and only two in this one. It has to be the same number. Okay, um, oops. Now we've got, here we'll just uh, write down what we've got here. So we, this one, we've got one row and 12 in each. Here we've got two rows and six in each, and here we've got three rows and four in each column. Okay, so this isn't the only answers, though. We could also uh, just get this back to the right size. Um, we could also do the reverse. So this is 12 dancers in each row. We could also have one dancer in each row. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we could do the opposite of that. Um, we could do the opposite of this one here to show that um, we have six rows with two dancers in each. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we could do the opposite of this one, showing that we have... Um, three dancers in each row. So we've got one, two, three, four rows, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's three dancers in each row. So bring this back down again, and I'll write my facts here. So this one would show twelve times one. This one, this one would show six times two. And this one here would show four times three. So they're slightly different in that um, these are all the possibilities that we could have on stage. So we could have uh, 12 dancers in each row, six dancers in each row, four dancers in each row, one dancer in each row, two dancers in each row, or three dancers in each row. Oh, in each row, not O. Oh. So that means that we have six possible ways. six possible ways and we showed with our oh, arrays and that is a weird a there okay um, if you would like to use uh, manipulative counters to put them out first and then draw you are welcome to do that um, but you do have to show the arrays when it asks so uh, your assignment is on the bottom of this page um, and it is page 105 to 106, numbers 1 to 6. There's, there they are. I forgot to write them down before. Okay, so there's your assignment.